let's talk about the Hacks programming language and in particular the new version that came out, Hacks 4.2.0. Well actually I'm making this video a few weeks later than the release of that version so now actually it's Hacks 4.2.1 but let's not get into that right now. Let's talk about this version. So Hacks 4.2.0 is a minor upgrade from Hacks 4.1.5 which was the previous version and it adds loads of new things. You can take a look at the Hacks website to see all the new features it adds, but I'm gonna focus on two that I'm really excited about. And that's module level fields and classic abstract classes. So module level fields were written about ages ago. As you can see or can't see in this document, they were spoken about all the way back in May, 2020. So they've been a long time coming. And what they do essentially is allow you to write static fields outside of classes. So you can write static methods, you can write variables, and you don't have to write a class. Now, this might seem weird to those of you who are coming from a language like JavaScript, where you can just write functions and variables outside of classes. But this is kind of a new thing in Hacks. So let's go through how that works. Currently in Hacks, if you wanted to write a function, you'd have to have it in a class like this. But with Hacks 4.2.0 and module level fields, you can write them without a class like this. As you can see, this is a lot cleaner for certain methods and can be a lot easier to read. The other thing I want to talk about is abstract classes. Hacks currently uses the abstract keyword for a lot of things. And I'm not going to go into that right now. But what it didn't have until now was the ability to declare a class as abstract meaning that the class can only be extended and it can't be initialized on its own. So as you can see here, there is a concrete class and an abstract class called abstract. And abstract only works when it's extended by concrete. It wouldn't work without that. Here in this example, you can see new greeter cannot be instantiated on its own. And this is one great benefit of having the abstract keyword for classes. So I've spoken about a few things that excite me about the new release of Hacks, but I'm not quite done yet. You see, when this version came out, loads of people spoke about how much they enjoyed using the Hacks programming language. People came out on Hacker News and Reddit talking about their love for Hacks. And I'm gonna go through some of my favorite quotes. This user says, Hacks is my favorite programming language. Hacks' macro system is so incredibly powerful that after using it, it makes me cringe every time I have to work with templates in C++. I have been working with Hacks for over a decade now and the language has really gone from strength to strength. In its community and in enterprise use, it's always gratifying to see it appear again and I know Gamma 11 and many others have been putting in a lot of legwork for a long time. I could go on reading out quotes but I recommend you check out the link I'm gonna put in this video description that goes through more comments like this on Hacker News. Now, if you're new to Hacks and you've never heard about it before, I recommend you check out my Hacks playlist in this channel and watch a few videos about it. If you've heard about Hacks and want to use it for game development, then I recommend you check out my Hacks Flixel playlist where I will show you how to make a game from scratch using Hacks Flixel completely for free. And now that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching.